Using a non-metallic tool, push the keyboard frame toward the LCD unit to expose the screws. Loosen the six captive screws located at the six key, the enter key, the colon semicolon key, the J key, the F key, and the caps lock key. Lift the front edge of the keyboard and slide it forward to rotate and expose the keyboard cables. Disconnect two cables from the system board. Align the keyboard face down onto the keyboard bezel. Connect the two cables to the system board. Rotate the keyboard and slide it forward. Tighten the six screws. Using a non-metallic tool, slide the keyboard frame forward. Remove the six screws located on the bottom of the system. Disconnect the power button cable from the system board. Unsnap the keyboard bezel assembly. Carefully rotate the bezel to expose the cables. Disconnect the trackpad cable and fingerprint reader cable. Align the keyboard bezel assembly face down. Connect the two cables to the system board. Rotate the keyboard bezel assembly and slide it forward. Carefully press down to fasten the bezel clips. Connect the power button cable to the system board. Install the six screws on the bottom of the system. Remove two screws. Lift the power button card off its guidepost and release any adhesive tape on the ribbon cable. Place the power button card onto the keyboard bezel using the guidepost for alignment. Install two screws. Adhere any tape on the ribbon cable. Disconnect the NFC reader cable from the NFC card. Disconnect the ribbon cable. Lift the NFC card from the keyboard bezel assembly. Press the NFC card into place on the keyboard bezel. Connect the ribbon cable. Connect the NFC reader cable to the NFC card. Remove two screws from the bracket and remove the bracket. Disconnect the cable from the fingerprint reader. Lift and remove the card from the keyboard bezel. Connect the ribbon cable to the fingerprint reader.
Place the fingerprint reader into place onto the guide posts. Lower the bracket into place. Secure it with two screws.